What's up, hounds, and welcome back to Hounds TV. I'm Ben, and I'm here with Sam, and this is episode eight. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Ben, do you remember much from that presentation last week? Yeah, it was really good. Hounds heard from five different successful workers in the energy sector, explaining how the industry works and different jobs. Yeah, whether it's working on the rigs out of high school or becoming a CEO of a successful startup, Hounds heard all about it. Thanks again, Stephen, for the time you and your team spent to make it out to Wilcox for this presentation. All right, now we're going to pass it off to Mason with the new discoveries in science, and then Dane's Hound on the Street. Good morning, Hounds. I'm Mason, and this is the very first episode of... Meet the bubble cock, a brand new species of bee discovered by scientists. The bubble pop, under the scientific name Bombus jovialis, has been found to be nearing extinction. We bring you to our scientist on the field, James, with seven of the known remaining bubble pop. Six. Five. Thanks for watching, Hans, and I'll see you next week in another episode of... Welcome back to another episode of Hands on the Street. Let's go. What's up, guys? I'm here with Jacob Elliott. Today, we're going to be asking if you could get 100 please cheeseburgers. Beast <laughs> Or uh, date your third at. And personally, I think I would eat 100 ads. Today, I'm here with Brad. Today's question is eat 100 cheeseburgers or marry your third at and get free Wi Fi. Okay, let me just check. I'm taking the 100 cheesies. Today I'm here with Pablo Carter. And today's question is, eat 100 cheeseburgers or marry your third at and get free Wi-Fi? Double it and give it to the next person. Eat 100 cheeseburgers. Today I'm here with Well, missing out on some dollars. Oh, yeah. Lewis. And today's question is, eat 100 cheeseburgers or marry your third at and get free Wi-Fi? Marry my third at and get free Wi-Fi. Who's your third at? Ray Harris. <gasps> Marry my third at. Who's your third at? Matei Sefcik. I'm marrying Don Bush for free Wi-Fi. Today I'm here with Ryan. And today's question is, <laughs> eat a hundred Grimace shakes or marry your third at and get free Wi-Fi? Eat a hundred Grimace shakes. And today's question is, eat a hundred cheeseburgers or marry your third at and get free Wi-Fi? Well, my third at's I win, so I'll have to marry her. Thanks for watching, Alex. See you in the next one. Thanks, fellas. The staff student hockey game sure did not disappoint with the staff squeaking out a 15-13 win. Yeah, the new prospect, Jack Flamman, sure lived up to the hype, scoring four goals in the outing. Yeah, all ice burners, though. The real MVP was Bob Baumuller with three absolute snipes. Also, shout out to goalie Justin Vanderplug, who had about two saves and nine goals against, I think. <laughs> Pretty good. Overall, it was a great game and a lot of fun all around for ND. Thanks, Rob and Ali, for planning it. Yeah, thanks a lot. Next up, we have the newest round of the arm wrestling tournament and then this day in history. Hello, Hounds. Welcome back to another episode of the arm wrestling tournament. In this episode, we will have round one of bracket B. And the winner of bracket B, in the end, will play the winner of bracket A, which is Dexter. Who am I with today? Ah, uh, Kingston. Kyler. Do you think you're going to win? Uh, I don't know. It's my left arm, so maybe. I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. Any nice words to say to each other? Yeah. Uh, um, I like your beanie. Peace be with you. Yeah. I like your bus cut. Yeah. No funky business. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let go. You go. Okay, now other arm. Are there? No. Yes. Who am I with today? Savannah. Olivia. You think you're going to win? Obviously. Yep. Yeah, yep. Do you have anything to say to each other? You're going down like Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh. No. Alright. <laughs> Give me a thumb. Give me a thumb. Oh. <laughs> Never really arm wrestled anyone before. Let go.
<laughs> you suck! Really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here today. Sarah, Bioka. <laughs> you think you're gonna win? No. No. <laughs> Say to each other. No. <laughs> okay. What? Oh. Who am I here with today? Killian. Kiara. Think you're gonna win? Nope. Think you're gonna win? Nope. <laughs> you have any words? Nope. To exchange? No. No. Okay. <laughs> no funny business. I let go. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just let him win. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> 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 Who am I with today? Sultan. Dave. You know anything to say to each other before? Good luck. Good luck. Who am I with today? Yeah. There's no way I'm beating bison. <laughs> Look at the pocket. I don't know. I don't know. Huh? Have anything to say to each other before we say? Let's go. Good luck. Pitter patter. Right. Straighten it out. Oh, I'm done already. I can feel it. Well, this is. Are you? You're not even trying yet. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Mm. Oh, I don't want to waste too much energy. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh God. I was almost. Ready to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I got let go for one second. There's gone. This is the first round of the second bracket of the arm wrestling tournament. Stay tuned for next episode for the second round. Hello, hounds and other viewers, and welcome back to another episode of the Stay in History. On the morning of April fourth, nineteen sixty-eight. This news report is broadcasted across America. Good evening. The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, 39 years old and a Nobel Peace Prize winner, and the leader of the nonviolent civil rights movement in the United States was assassinated in Memphis tonight. A sniper's bullet cut down Dr. King as he stood on a hotel balcony in Memphis. Within an hour, Dr. King was dead. That happened at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Yes, U.S. civil rights activist Martin Luther King is assassinated by James Earl Ray at the Lorraine Hotel in Tennessee. Best known for his brilliant speeches and part in ensuring equality for African Americans in the United States through peaceful protests, Martin Luther King II is seen by most as the hero in securing that equality for not just African Americans, but all Americans. His most famous speech I today have a dream. explains the America he was to achieve. My poor little children that's all I have for today, Hounds. See you next week on this day in history. Nice job, Robbie and Sam. Winter Carnival took place on Monday, and it was an extremely successful afternoon. Yeah, I know Ben and I's Badger group had quite the day. Yeah, Badgers took home two out of the three grade 12 challenges. With Gunner taking the final Sudoku challenge. Allie is still hard at work calculating all the points from the day. But she'll be sure to keep everyone posted as soon as they come out. Nice work, Badgers. Let's keep the first place going strong. 
Now we'll pass it off to Challenge of the Week and then Discover the Duck. Hey Hounds, welcome back to another episode of Challenge of the Week. This week's challenge is a little bit sweet, but it's not easy. Here's the challenge. Good luck, Hounds. Who am I here with? Ryder. Liam. And do you think you can catch the Oreo? No. Yes. Go. I'm here with Jacob, Joe, and do you think you can catch the Oreo in your mouth? I do. Yes. Who am I here with? Will Sumner, Broden Flatson. And are you gonna catch the Oreo? Probably not. Yes. This is the fourth episode we discovered the duck, and your winner from last week was Etienne, who found the duck on Tuesday the 2nd. Now with that out of the way, your hint for this week is... So good luck and have fun hunting. Wow, how do you think ATM knew where to find that? I don't know, he must be a really good searcher. I guess so. Alright hounds, be ready to earn some more house point as another spirit week is on the way. Yeah, today is Jersey Day in memorial of the humble Broncos bus crash, and then on Monday, students will wear all one color for monochrome day. Tuesday will be backwards and inside out day, followed by twin day on Wednesday. Pajama day will wrap up the spirit week on Thursday. Okay, hounds, make sure you participate this week. Next up, Eddie's top 10 will round off the segments. from the students and the staff this week. Yeah, that's all for Sam and I hosting Hounds TV episode eight. Pound it, nog it, see ya. I love my friends and my friends.